What is going on guys? It's Gospel Gamer here. We are back on Danganronpa, another episode. And uh, we're about to go up on the lift, in the lift, after seeing a ghostly, uh, a ghostly vision, which is great. Oh, they're singing songs as well. That is not creepy at all. Uh. Oh, why are there a load of teeth? Wait, where's the artificial teeth in the broken monokuma? Oh, there. On it, not in it. Oh, God. I don't like the song. Uh, do your fucking mind, lads. Eat that! Yeah, fuck you. Careful! The tricky one came out. The tricky one came out. Okay. What's in there? It's like a big old conference room. No, nope, didn't didn't have Which anything to do with me. Hmm? Skip that. Okay. Right, the fucking patrolling. Oh, it's nothing that's worthwhile. Oh no. It's another one down. Oh no. Oh sweet, I hot it. I hot it. I hit it. Even. I don't know why I said hot it. Looks like he's looking for someone. How do you know? Okay. When did you get the ability to read the minds of homicidal bears? Please give me more break. Oh, it's a fucking battery, isn't it? Right. Save since we're at another save point. Oh wait, uh, I totally oh, forgot something. Oh no. What? The chairman's head. We left it. Now he's gonna curse me again. I'm leaving. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Interesting. Interesting. We're making some really, really good progress though, I think, at the moment. Getting through it quite quickly. Yay, break! That's exactly what I wanted from the last one. Boing, 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 boing. Over there. What we got? Someone's hanging from the ceiling. Find the kid without getting caught. Huh? Boy, what's she doing there? Okay. Uh. Uh, she's shitting herself. Please help me! These perverted bear robots are gonna gang up on me! Are they? Ignore her. There's no way I can do that. You're too trusting. She's that perverted girl who took away your virginity. Uh, what? I'll have you know she no, didn't. She didn't. A Monokuma kid is somewhere in this room controlling them. Find that kid and bring it, kill him! You heard her. Alright, okay. Okay. When the beast monokumas are focused on her, that's your chance. Let's see. No! I'm gonna be humiliated by a beast, but I'm still a Whoa! Oh Fuck. Why'd I do that? Why was that something I did? Oh 
There we go. Could you not? Which one is it then? Fuck it, just come after me. I've, I've attacked. Oh god. I may have fucked up. Oh my god, there's still more of them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Got another heart, it's fine. Did I get him? I got him. Okay. Oh, I fucked up though. Ah, I'm glad. Even the worthy Homer sometimes nods. Did I use that proverb right? I almost never say stuff like that, so I'm not sure. Wow. But just because you're not used to it doesn't mean you should give up. Like those tentacles. Hey, why are you getting attacked? It is highly unfortunate, but it appears I too have been betrayed. Why are you so happy so about that? You sure seem nonchalant about it. Well, this is an act too. If I stop acting, it would be bad. I would lose my cool like some miserable wretch. To put this much effort into betraying me, I'm boiling with anger. You're talking about Monica, right? Yes, she said it herself. She doesn't care about paradise, and never has. She was tricking us with all her talk about succeeding the will of Big Sis Junko. She even took advantage of the hope Big Sis Junko gave us. And Great. she made everyone in the Warriors of Hope fight. No, more than that. Remember after I lost to you two? I got ambushed by Monokuma kids? I think that was her doing. Masaru and Jotaro probably ended up the same way. Yep. She didn't just betray the Warriors of Hope. She wanted to kill us. She didn't believe in friendship, or effort, or victory. The children's paradise we dreamed of, it was never going to happen. From the very beginning. Great. If that's true. Great friend. Then what is she really after? I'm not sure. But she said something about the successor to Junko Enoshima or something. A successor? She's twisting this whole situation to make a kingdom for herself. Not a paradise for all. And as queen of her little kingdom, she probably wants to be the pampered successor. She's your... Ah, hey, oh, I didn't skip that. What do you think? Well, first off, I still don't think we can trust her. Saying things like, I was betrayed. She probably just wants us to let our guard down. Never! Look, I'm completely unarmed! See? Oh, great, why? H hey, stop! If you still don't trust me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The whereabouts of that big fat liar, Monica. She should be inside the Excalibur, anchored at the rooftop helicopter port. The Excalibur? It's that big airship thingy you so courageously jumped out of. It's on top of Toa Hills. If you know where she is, why don't you go find her yourself? Well, I was planning to do just that. But that's when I got... The device that controls the Monokumas. Is that in this Excalibur thing, too? I'm guessing that liar poophead Monica is holding on to it. She's controlling the Monokumas. Jeez, her stupid magic. Getting all carried away with that controller. You should snatch it from her. Then you can give it to me for safekeeping. No thanks. S safekeeping? You're just as bad as Monica. And more importantly, where's the hostage from Future Foundation? This is crucial. You mean that blonde guy who looks like he has really pretty nipples? Uh, excuse me, what? Why would he have pretty nipples? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Master has to have beautiful nipples. The master you're talking about is in the storage room on the top floor of Toa Hills. But the key to that room is in that liar poophead bitch Monica's pocket. All I gotta do is strip that brat down and snag that key. 
Yeah, and after she's stripped down, bury her legs and let starving dogs come eat her. Uh, what? You don't have to go that far. Oh, you're so kind, miss. But remember, the device that controls the Monokumas. Just leave it to me. You can trust me with it. After all, I don't hate adults anymore. They're not demons to me, not one bit. Hmm. Now then, good day. Good day? What? She doesn't hate the adults anymore, huh? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You aren't that good at acting. Maybe we shouldn't have saved someone like her. Right now, we know where we need to go. So let's get to the roof already. Before there are more victims, we have to stop the kids and adults from fighting. No shit. Kamaru, your eyes are scary. Huh? I told you before, Master comes first. But the... But... Got it. Got it. Okay, mm. that was interesting. At least now we can leave this place. Okay. Let's go get whatever that shiny little item was. What have we got? No, Toko, you are... Yes, you are an annoying woman. Alright. <laughs> Onward. Do, do, do. Perfect. Let's save this again. Onward we go. How much longer until we get to the roof? We've Hopefully climbed not pretty long. high. How <clears throat> still up there. Ah, oh, it's battery, I've already got enough of those. Um Well, that's a pretty creepy door. What should we do? Open it. Open what the creepy should door. We do? Are you actually planning to open this I can this guarantee you buy a keys in there. Door? I mean, there might be something important or useful in here. Like, like buy a key. Uh, I'm not going to help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time. Don't say that. It's scary. Buy a key. Nailed on. No? Oh, it's a torture room, isn't it? That's why I warned you. God, jeez. Let's get outside. Wait. This is. What is it? That's her name. What is this? It's written in blood. They're letters, right? Hey, Togo. Can you take a look at the. I D don't scare me like that. If you were gonna tag along with us, make your presence known. Jeez. Yeah, no need to, you know, spook us, you bastard. So, it was here. Um, Mr. Haichi. You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Sure. You guys saw that broadcast too, right? Someone help! That's my wife! Oh, Jesus. To try and flush us out from the base, those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. It actually had the opposite effect, though. We were all too afraid to come out. What? What? Such a despair-inducing idea. Someone with experience must have planned it. Yeah. You understand now, right? This room, 
It represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base. Their loved ones were killed right here. Fantastic. <laughs> it's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Then those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah, so? Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? Possibly. Well, capable or not, that's what happened. And that's why we can't show any mercy. Not anymore. I'll never forgive those bastards. Never! This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. Oh, great. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. No, I'm okay. We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Why? Where I? I understand how you feel, but... Those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Let's just go. <laughs> but... Be interesting to know what was in that room. Toko, shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't care. He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But... I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Oh, yeah. The Huge victims amount. are all relatives of the people at the secret base. Doesn't that seem strange? No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? Jeez. Things are starting to get fishy. But starting? We've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. You're right. No choice. We have to press forward. I wonder okay. if she's okay. So I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you want to see more of this, then do subscribe to the channel. It's upload every day. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Well, once I kill this guy anyway. Can you die please? So I can end the episode. Thank you. Right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.